All right, so before I pull all this mess out and get rid of it, because we're upgrading and building the uh, massive power wall in the shed, I've got an abundance of lead acid batteries I bought when I bought a lot of things that came together. So I just grabbed the lead acids as well. A part of the deal, kind of had to buy them. So here we've got um, four 100 amp hour full rivers, those back four. A 120? A 105. So four 100s, a 105, and a couple of these data safes. Pause there. You might be able to read that. But they're about 100, 110 amp hour lead acids. They're just like a high output kind of model. So we've got all these linked together. We've got this Excelsior 2200 watt inverter. Um, the solar's about done. We're at 14 and a half volts. There's only an amp coming in at 14 and a half volts. So very little. Um, we'll kill the battery charger because I've had the big CTEC charger on there. Just taking power from this 24 volt system and putting it into this 12 volt system, which, yes, I understand is a terrible mess. So, voltage coming in off the solar panel is very minimal. We've got one amp now. It's about seven o'clock, so we're going to go from there. This is our watt hour meter, which is reset. We want to change that to. The kilowatt hours, as you can see, zero kilowatt hours on there. We're not going to add any power, we're just going to turn some stuff on and run it down and see how much capacity we have. So how much is stored in this little bank of uh, lead acid batteries. Now, once these are worn out, they're all going to the recycle and I'm not doing anything with lead acid again because I've got beautiful lithium stuff, which although BMS has failed, as we've seen in some of the last few videos, like this little three brick here is like 15 kilowatt hours of storage. So I can cycle that every day, no issues at all. I can do that somewhere around 4,000 times. This is like 500 to 1,000 cycles best case. I want to know how many kilowatt hours are sitting here because it's a cool, very simple look here, look there, volume comparison. So here's our first watt hour. I plug a bunch of stuff in. I've got some cordless tool batteries to charge. I can run lights and stuff in the shed tonight while I'm doing stuff out here. So we're going to flatten them tonight. This video is going to be done in a day, all kind of one piece. What time is it now that I'm starting? It is 7.05. So see if we can't knock it out tonight before I go to bed. If not, it'll be in the morning. But no charge essentially is going in there. We're down to 0.9 of an amp. It's dropping off considerably. There's literally just one 250 out there connected to it so just cycle cycle it down the surface surface level of the charge has gone down to 13.3 so they're definitely charged I've, they've been on the charger all day and the sun's been out on them all day how much power has this made today 10 kilowatt hours 2000 and oh, 2019 kilowatt hours has come through that Fangpu Sun charge controller which is a blue power clone into these little guys I've also got an output there's the button I've also got a kilowatt hour output there the last four days we pulled 41 kilowatts look at that very cool so this side over here we're just running some crap we've got to get rid of it wear it out throw it in the bin whatever just catching free energy from the Sun this is always full. Um, I'm actually seriously considering putting a timer on this to charge this. This is one of the reasons I want to do such a thing because I may be like two o'clock, I can make this kind of charge that. And then that won't sit there on float all day because that'll do about 15 kilowatts a day in summer. No stress at all. There's uh, 3000 watts of solar on the roof. And when we get full 70 amps through that, we're stuck at about 2000 and something watts when we get higher up into the voltages maybe 2100 is about the best we see but because it's over paneled it's um it makes makes really good power so uh we'll come back i'll do a bit of an interim one like i said it's just after seven using power only a little bit how many watts we're we using obviously we need to turn some stuff on 
and use 113 watts. So yeah, let's run some stuff and uh, we'll go until that's beeping. So the last video you'll see is that beeping and uh, we'll have a cumulative number to see how much power we get. There's the noise. 11.7, it's bounced back to. How do we go? Four kilowatt hours, 4.12. Here's what we got out of that little pile of batteries. So if you went 200, 400, 600, 700 amp hours, terrible noise All right so that'll charge itself back up during the day today um, obviously it's not going to charge itself up fully we've only got one 250 watt panel on it yeah we got four kilowatt hours out of that and I get about five kilowatt hours out of one of these so give you a bit of an energy density kind of idea when you want to compare this what I'm doing here to what's happening in the uh, container in the uh, super power wall this is uh, gonna be a pretty epic thing I reckon so uh, at midnight last night we were still at like 12.3 volts so I didn't bother adding anything to that I just let it roll overnight and uh, yeah it just charged some batteries and transferred some energy to the other power bank down in the house and that's what we ended up with so yeah that's what we know we got uh, four kilowatt hours flat pretty much out of that. So if they're sitting there nice and fully charged with me not using them for anything, we've got a spare four kilowatts. We've got a bunch of other 12 volt cells we might link some more up to. See if we can get it up to like you know, 10 kilowatt hours depending on what we've got laying around. And um, yeah, a good backup system for when we just want some more power or we've had a couple of cloudy days and we don't want to murder this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. That's what we got out of those. If all four rivers, except for the two data safes at the front there. So just so you know, for interest's sake, we got four kilowatts out of them. It'll be a couple of days to charge back up. I don't think it's actually charging yet. 0.2 of an amp. It's just saying 33 volts, so it's not pulling off the panel properly yet. But uh, yeah, it's giving you the flashy battery. We've got nothing left. Good little charge controllers these EP Evers, like that one's done 345 kilowatts and the one in the camp has done like high 200s. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next vid.